14 verse 13. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. 14 verse 18. Verse 18. 13, okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's 14 verse 13 says, that Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians you see, for the Egyptian whom you see today, you will see again no more forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Exodus chapter 16, the next page, verse 4. Verse 4. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Then Exodus 4, 16, verse 4 it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain quarter every day, that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our last question of scripture, John chapter number 6. John. John 6, okay. verse 21. The gospel of John 6. The gospel of John 6. This. Verse 51. 51. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. John 6, verse 51. Mm -hmm. It says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I worship you and I pray that to light our God as we are gathered, as your word be revealed. I pray, my to God, that every soul in this house receives this word and become what the word says. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are so grateful that God is a God of His own kind who visits us, who speaks to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are so grateful that we are in less than once again worshiping and doing works of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Last week uh, we spoke about a man called John. Praise the Lord. Amen. A man who thought he could run away from the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord. A man who flee from the presence of the Lord, who flee from the duties that he was given by the Lord. Amen. A man who ran away from the mandate that he was given by the Lord. Amen. But we begin to learn that you know you can never run away from God because God is all the presence. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we're gonna to go a little bit different. We're gonna to go to the book of uh, Exodus where it's a very familiar portion of scripture when we know about Moses and the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in Exodus chapter number 14, verse 18, praise the Lord. And Moses said to the people, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The children he had gone to take out of bondage. The children he had gone to take out from, the, uh, from Egypt, praise the Lord. Amen. Now he was speaking to the to this uh, to, to this children saying, do not be afraid. Amen. Do not fear, but stand still. Somebody say stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Say that minute. Hallelujah. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Praise the Lord. Amen. Moses was speaking to the children of Israel. Stand still. Because the salvation will be revealed to you today. Amen. Amen. The salvation will be revealed in this house today. Amen. He said to them, the Egyptians that you saw or that you are seen, today you shall see them no more. Amen. In another words, he's saying the problems, the giants that you are going through, today you shall see them no more. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Rather than we have to understand the times we are living, praise God. Amen. We are now living the times of the grace of the Lord. Amen. You know, we cannot uh, comprehend the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, we have to be grateful of the times we are living today. Amen. Because when we remember the times of Moses, the times of Abraham, the times of uh, King David, then we live in the times of the Lord. Amen. But we are living the times of the grace, the Amen. times of the love of the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord. Because you know the law is so hard, you can't comprehend the law, praise the Lord. Amen. But the grace of the Lord, the grace, this is the time that we are living, and we have to take advantage of that time. Amen. Many times I've heard people say, 
if they do something wrong or something which maybe is against the Lord, praise the Lord, they will always say, I think now God is beating us, praise the Lord. Amen. But we haven't yet experienced the realm of the Lord. Praise Amen. Lord. We have haven't, we are nowhere near to experience the realm of the Lord. Praise Amen. Lord. We are living the times of the grace. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Amen. Now we begin to understand that Moses, as a servant of God, God appeared to Moses. God told Moses to go to the city of Egypt to go and deliver the children of Israel from that city. Praise Hallelujah. God. We begin to understand Moses' God. We all know, I think all of us here, we are very much familiar with that portion of scripture. Praise Amen. God. When Moses went to Egypt to take the children of uh, Israel out of Egypt, Praise God. Amen. When Pharaoh resisted and resisted to a point where Pharaoh had to let the truth go, praise God. Amen. But today I want to draw your attention, praise God, that uh, when the children of Israel were coming out uh, from Egypt, praise God. Amen. The moment the children of Israel were coming out, many times we are caught also in that in that in that situation, that scenario, whereby we can do so many great things, but when we come to a point of adversity, we begin to look back, we begin to take steps going backwards, we begin to fear, we begin to complain, Hallelujah. we begin to murmur like the children of Israel. Amen. When Moses is led the children of Israel, the children of Israel out of Egypt, praise God, Hallelujah. they came to a point of, or to a place where it looked like it was a dead end yes. when they approached the bank of the Red Sea. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have to understand that the children of Israel, they were living a life of bondage. Amen. They were living a life of bondage. Praise God. Amen. But God had to make a solution. He had to use his servant Moses to take them out, to bring them to the promised land. But when they come to the bank, of the Red Sea, Amen. they begin to panic, they begin to complain, Hallelujah. they begin to murmur, they yes. begin to call Moses and call their names and call the Lord his name, praise Lord. Amen. They begin to accuse Moses, praise Lord. Amen. Many times we are caught in that situation. Amen. They were in adversity. They were almost one step from breaking through, praise Lord. Amen. They were one step from reaching out, praise Amen. Lord. But when they came to a point, they began to complain. Amen. They complained and complain. This is why you find even brothers at church. They come to church for two years, three years. But when they were when they get to a point of adversity, when they are about to break through, because God tests us sometimes, praise Lord. Amen. You see, even Jesus was tested, praise Amen. Lord. When, when, when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, we begin to see the tempter. He comes and begins to tempt Jesus. He said, if you are the son of God, why don't you turn these, bread, these stones into bread? Hallelujah. And at the time, I don't think Jesus had broken his fast, praise the Lord. But he was at adversity. Amen. But he stood still, Jesus. Yes. He stood and declared the word of God. Amen. This is what we are supposed to do as a church. Amen. When we are at adversity, we have to declare, we have to stand still. Like what Moses was saying to the children of Israel, be still, Amen. stand still. Hallelujah. It wasn't an easy uh, journey, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. When they were at the bank of the river, of the, of the Red Sea, mm -hmm. Pharaoh, he had changed his mind. Amen. Pharaoh was coming with his army. Amen. He was coming to kill all the Israelites, praise the Lord. Amen. But now they were at a point whereby God wanted to see how much can they go with their faith. Amen. What sometimes you put in a position yeah. and you want to see how much can you hold on, brother? Hallelujah. How much do you trust the Lord? Yes. You get to a point whereby you are just about to break through. Mm -hmm. But God wants to see how much can you wait? How much do you trust the Lord? Mm -hmm. Abraham, when God spoke to him, saying, Take your son, Isaac, your mm -hmm. only son, yes. and make that him a sacrifice, your yes. only son. But he went all the way. Hallelujah. Because he trusted. He knew one yes. or the other God will bring him to life. Hallelujah. But many times in a situation like that, Okay, to us, we begin to say, but Lord, maybe I didn't hear proper. Amen. Or maybe God is making something. We begin to give excuses. Hallelujah. But we understand when Moses was speaking, because Moses knew, number one, who he worshipped. Amen. That his God was a great God. Hallelujah. That his God was able to do all Amen. Things. Moses stood by faith. Amen. He began to call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord. Hallelujah. He began to call upon the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he prayed. And prayed, and the Red Sea opened. Hallelujah. The way was open. Amen. Sometimes we need to stand still and pray. Amen. And call upon the name of the Lord. In whatever situation you are going through, Amen. your situation is not big enough for the boss. Amen. God is able Amen. to take care of your situation. Praise God. You open. I'm not talking about a bridge. 
I'm not talking about the river. No. I'm talking about the Red Sea. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God had to open that Red Sea Amen. for the children of Israel to cross, yes. to walk through. Amen. But none of them drowned. None of those children died. Amen. Amen. But the army, foreign army, all of them, they perished. Perishes. Amen. The Bible tells that they perished in the water, in the, in, the, in, the, in the sea. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we are so grateful of the times we are living. Praise God. This is why I want us to understand, brethren, because of the times that we are living. We are so grateful that even today, you know, when we worship the Lord, the, the veil, the Bible tells me that the veil was torn from yeah. top to bottom. That now we don't even have to go and look for a priest or look for anybody. We can just enter into the presence of the Lord at Amen. any given time. Hallelujah. Because our God he never sleeps or slumber. He is there 24 7 for Amen. us. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this is the time whereby we have to take advantage of the times we are living. When we look at the ancient days, they would sacrifice some beast Amen. to go into the Holy of Holies Amen. to get a priest to, to be prayed for. Amen. But we don't have to do all these kind of things now. No. We just have to call upon the name of yes, the Lord. Jesus. Be it wherever you are, God hears our prayer. Amen. Because it's only Christ Amen. 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 We have to be grateful for the times that we are living. Amen. Hallelujah. He comes in the, in the gospel and says, rather, that whosoever partakes of this bread, he shall live. Praise God. Amen. The children of 